Whereas on the 22nd day of September in the year of our Lord, 1862, a proclamation was issued by the President of the United States containing, among other things, the following to wit. That on the first day of January in the year of our Lord, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state, the people whereof shall then be in rebellion against the United States. Shall they'll then be thenceforth and forever free and the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authority thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of such persons and will do no acts or acts to repress such persons or any of them in any efforts that they may make for their actual freedom. That the executive will, on the first day of January aforesaid, by proclamation designate the states and parts of states, if any, in which people thereof, respectively, shall then be in rebellion against the United States, and the fact that any state or the people thereof shall on that day be in good faith, represented in the Congress of the United States by members chosen thereto at elections wherein a majority of the qualified voters of each state shall have participated, shall, in the absence of strong countervailing testimony, be deemed conclusive evidence that such state and the people thereof are not then in rebellion against the United States. Now, therefore, I, Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, by virtue of the power in me vested as Commander-in-Chief of the Army and the Navy of the United States in times of actual armed rebellion against authority and government of the United States, and as a fit and necessary war measure for suppressing said rebellion due on this first day of January in the year of our Lord, 1863, and in accordance with my purpose so to do publicly proclaimed for the full period of 100 days from the day first above mentioned, order and designate as the states and parts of states wherein the people thereof respectfully are this day in rebellion against the United States, the following to wit, Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, except certain parasitage, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, except the 48 counties designated as West Virginia and also, etc. And by virtue of the power and of the purpose aforesaid, I do order and declare that all persons held as slaves within said designated states and parts of states are, henceforth, shall be free. And that the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authorities thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of said persons. And I hereby enjoin upon the people so declared to be free, to abstain from all violence, less in necessary self-defense. I recommend to them that in all cases, when allowed, they labor faithfully for reasonable wages. And I further declare and make known that such persons of suitable condition will be received into the armed service of the United States to garrison forts, positions, stations, and other places, and to man vessels of all sorts in said service. And upon this act, sincerely believed to be an act of justice warranted by the Constitution, upon military necessity, I invoke the considerate judgment of mankind and the gracious favor of Almighty God. In witness whereof I have here unto set my hand and caused the seal of the United States to be affixed. Done in the city of Washington this first day of January in the year of our Lord, 1863, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 87th, by the President Abraham Lincoln, William Seward, Secretary of State. Thus, indeed.